and understands well the strong emotions around the Boy Scout ban on gays. In fact, he disagreed so strongly with the policy, he renounced his Eagle Scout status. Well, now he's speaking out again. Nine on your side reporter Michaelia White spoke with him today, a story you'll see only on Nine. Michaelia? Yeah, Clyde, scout leaders here at the Scott Achievement Center here in Evendale are wondering what that national decision could mean for their troops. And one, as you mentioned, that a former scout says he hopes they do make the decision to allow gays. I'm really excited to see that the Boy Scouts have decided to reevaluate their policy. Today, John Lawson stands feeling gratification. It shows people that you can make a difference, that one person can make a difference, and that if we all stand up for what is right, that then we can change the direction of not only an organization, but hopefully our nation and uh, if we want to go even further, the whole world. It's been seven months since Lawson made a painful decision. He worked years to become an Eagle Scout, the highest rank a scout can achieve. But when the Boy Scouts of America actively excluded gays, he made the decision to give up all that he had worked for. I'm just one of many Eagle Scouts that returned their badge and their awards. So uh, there's a group that have gotten together to do that and signed petitions that have worked against corporate or worked to get corporate uh, sponsors to withhold their donations to the Boy Scouts until they change their policy. The new policy now under discussion would eliminate the ban from the local organization's rules, leaving local sponsors to decide for themselves whether to allow gay scouts and leaders. And Lawson says he'd do it again in a second, knowing his sacrifice benefits something bigger than himself. I was not raised that way. And I just couldn't be a part of that. It was a small price to pay in hopes that maybe all children, no matter what their race, creed, color, or religion, or sexual orientation, will be able to experience some of the wonderful things in the outdoors and some of the experiences that I learned as a Boy Scout. And that ban does remain in place, but the change could be announced as early as next week. McKellia White, nine on your side, live in Evendale. All right, Michaelia, thanks for that report.